You're going to like this. This is a cool one. So Bob Lazar claimed UFOs ran on a mysterious element known as 115. At the time, scientists said that this was totally impossible, but we might be inching closer to proving him right. So here's what just happened. Researchers at Lawrence Berkeley Lab created a brand new way to make super heavy elements because up until now, the heaviest elements like 118, also known as organessin, were made using something called calcium 48 beams. But that method hit a dead end and we literally ran out of the right starting materials. So the team tried something new. They built a titanium 50 beam and fired it at plutonium. And over the course of 22 days, it actually produced livermorium, which is element 116, and that's huge because that means that we might finally have a pathway to reach elements 119, 120, and maybe even a stable version of element 115. So scientists have long predicted something called an island of stability, which is a zone where certain super heavy isotopes don't instantly just fall apart. If we can reach that, these elements could last long enough to actually study in bulk, and that's where the real surprises will come in. So the big question, if one of those stable isotopes turns out to behave the way that Lazar described, which was bending gravity and space-time, would that mean that UFOs really were running on physics that we're only now catching up to? Sure seems that way. Let me know what you think.